Hey guys, hope you are doing good. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to do an interesting project using Google Sheets actually. And we are going to try and do some basic analysis, plot some graphs and analyze food order data. This is actually real time Swiggy data. I have just made some manipulations to certain columns to make it not exactly Swiggy data. Okay. We are given order date. We are given the city. We are given the user ID. Then we have the name of the item that was ordered, the price of the item and also what specific category that item belongs to. Okay. We're going to try and answer some business questions, do some analysis, build some basic graphs. Let's start out like suppose you are asked a question. Okay. Tell me how many items were sold, unique items, right? That were sold. How would you go about doing that? Right. In Google Sheets, you have a simple formula. You could simply say unique and I could just select no, this range, right? This range of data. If you say unique, you'll get like actually all the unique values displayed here. So if I wanted to count the unique values, what I could do, I could simply say count unique, which is another function. This is like count distinct in SQL. And I will just select for that column. Okay. We have about 46 unique items that were sold. Okay. So this is a very simple start. Um, suppose let me just uh, go to here and add another column. Maybe let's say day of week. Okay. So we are given dates, right? This is 1st August 2021. And then if I scroll down, then you have 26 August 2021, 23 August 2021. This is August 2021 data. If you want to find the day of week, we can go with this weekday function. This is some basic manipulation and we can choose this. Okay. And 1st August was actually 2021 was actually a Sunday. So day of week one means it's a Sunday. And now you can just copy this formula, right? Basically. And uh, yeah, like we, as you know, we have populated like the whole row. So we'll get different dates, right? For example, 29th, if it's one, that means it was again a Sunday. 30th August is two means it was a Monday, right? How this can help if you think about it is this can help us, uh, for example, see which day of the week helped us gain more sales and things like that, right? So just a uh, basic uh, data manipulation that I have done. Okay. Now, suppose your manager comes and tells you, Hey, give me a drop down where if I, you know, select the city, I can get the total revenue we made, right? Suppose he asks you this question, how can we do that? So I just go here, right? First of all, uh, you know, we have like cities, right? So let's uh, uh, find like the unique values for cities, right? What all unique values are there for the city column again. So I just select the full range. And now you see, I think we have like a lot of cities, right? Um, let's see now, like if we have to put a drop down, how do we do a drop down? So you just go to data. You can go to data validation. Okay. And I can say, just click on add rule. And I want it to be like a drop down, but from a particular range. Okay. What is the range? So I want to select this, you know, the, uh, basically, uh, for instance, let me just select this column, right? Click. Okay. And let's say done. And let me close. Now, what all do we have? So we have all the cities, right? So we can simply filter for any city we want. We want Jaipur, we want Kochi. You know, we can select Mysore and so on. Okay. Now, how do I do the total revenue? We can use basically a sum if formula, right? So you can say sum if, and what is the range? Range in the data, you have to again select this column, right? Fully. Uh, and the criteria here, right? What's the criteria? It's important to know. Let me just scroll to the right again. So criteria is basically whatever value is in this cell. So I'll select that. And then the third argument is sum range. So I want to sum the total price, right? Which will give us the revenue. And then I can just close it. So for example, it says Mysore gave us 71,550. If I have to select, uh, let's say Chennai, then we get 13,450, right? So you can, you know, your manager can filter for data. Coimbatore gave us 25,520. He can filter for this and see the, you know, the range basically. Okay. Then let's do some further stuff using a pivot table, right? So for that, let me just select like all these columns. Let's go to insert, let's say pivot table and I'll create it in a new sheet, right? 
so for example let's add uh, let's say order date and in values let me say total price right like total sum of price and this is what we get right we we have the data so this is sum of price let me give it an alias name this is total revenue we made and uh, yeah we have the grand total as well so for instance uh, if i have to like let's select these two and try to insert like a chart okay as you see uh, like we get like so there was a spike in the middle right around 15 16 and that again it fell flat and it completely went out right so this is basically the setup uh, we can also go to customize let's pr probably open the vertical axis and uh, yeah if you want to give an alias name you can give so here let's say we can give minimum value is zero and maximum value let's say we can give like uh, two lakh or something right now the graph looks better maybe let's give an even a smaller value let's give one lakh i don't think any city had more than one lakh so if we give like this yeah i think the max was around thirty three thousand, right so this is even better probably so we can see the trend right what happens is revenue is kind of uh, you know going down then suddenly spikes around this mark 13th mark and then completely drops and tapers off towards the end right a simple trend we can see in terms of revenue right this is one cool thing we can do right so this is probably revenue versus time right let me go back again let me insert another pivot table right like let's uh, okay i should not have selected chart right i'll just remove this so i just want to insert a second pivot table like let's do it in a new sheet again what can we do now row like for instance uh, we can add uh, like say day of week in row so i'll go to rows and select day of week okay and then let's select in values total price which is sum of price that's the revenue we made right so we have one two five six seven it's a bit weird uh, three and four are missing right why is that the case so three and four is basically what tuesday and wednesday and we like i think we seldom have those dates here right to check that you can probably go to filter and see here and as you see we just have one two five six and seven so three four are missing so there's no data for tuesday and wednesday this was just to cross verify anyways that's okay so with this we can also uh, for example insert uh, let's say uh, we can try to insert even a bar graph right so we got a line graph let's go to customize let's scroll down or we could also go back to the setup we can select let's say i want to see bar graph okay now when i plot this as you guys see what happens so we observe that sunday has the highest sales right um, and then seven is saturday right saturday has the least like it kind of steadily drops over the week um monday has the second highest then you know thursday and friday have decent sales but then it tapers off on saturday right so maybe that means you need to push your sales a little more on saturday maybe you need to give some sort of discounts right that way this can help right so this is one more graph you, you can plot so this is interesting as well so this is basically day of week versus revenue right then what else can we do i'll go back here again and uh, we can also see a uh, distribution of revenue across cities right for that what can i do again i can go here and insert another pivot table let me create in a new sheet and this time i want to see city and i want to see in values um, total revenue which is sum of price again right let me change it to total revenue right and let me just select uh, for instance the cities forget the grand total so i'll go here and insert chart uh, this time i want to see more like a pie chart let's see what we get right as you guys see 
for example mysore contributes 18.7 percent that's pretty high right let's go back to our original data uh, remember we put like a drop down to see so let's go and select uh, mysore here so mysore had 71,000 right that's, that's quite high um, and yeah I guess we can go back here so that that contributes almost 20 percent towards our business right so then you know indoor contributes even higher in fact 20 percent to our business right so these are very interesting insights you can quickly take away right like if I just move this um, graph a little bit right so you can see like it's pretty interesting that Mysore and uh, also indoor contribute a lot right towards our business so again a quick insight you can give your manager right as you see this is for like city wise distribution of revenue city wise revenue right so here we put up like a pie chart then day of week we saw like basically through a you know bar graph then we wanted to see revenue over time across the month how it was developing we used a, a, a line chart as well right so this is pretty interesting right so the choice of graphs is also important when you're doing over time sometimes it's good to do like a line chart sometimes if you're seeing day of week it's good to do bar graph if you're seeing like across cities revenue distribution maybe it's a good idea to use the uh, pie chart as well okay so that is what all this is about so if I add a new sheet and what can I do like we can also try and maybe uh, copy the chart right let's put all of them in like one final sheet uh, let me say for example yeah I think let's go here and uh, let me just remove grid lines for now so I'll paste one chart here so total revenue I have right this is already a cool graph Maybe you know you can also adjust the size a little bit right so that you can see the full graph right total revenue this is by city and I'll also adjust this a little bit like this okay then what else do we want to see I want to see day of week I can also you know go here grab this chart I can say copy chart I can go here and like paste it so I have it here so let me move it to the right side so you can do something like this right so we see two graphs already and uh, revenue versus time how is revenue developing over time you can also copy that and I can do copy chart and then I can do a paste here right so again I get it pretty big so I can just make it smaller right now it looks a bit weird so what can I do I can just like drag it down maybe right but at least we see like some sort of a trend so now we have like everything right all the data so this is like an in like if I just move this a little more up right we can see I think all the graphs like let me also move this a little more to the ups upper side and we also see revenue right the third graph is a little bit down but as you see we can see all the developments right the same place so as you guys see um, I think it's a cool way quick way to visualize few findings like and also as we you saw we leveraged some if uh, data validation created a new column weekday used unique count in it right quick way to do some basic analysis is a very simple project you can use I am going to share the link of this google sheet in our description just use it practice maybe add more questions try more things this can be a good start showcasing your skills using pure tables uh, plotting graphs and all these basic functions like sum if data validation and you no know, things like that i hope you enjoyed the video i'll see you again in another video